discuss how we can use GitHub and how to create an account through in VS Code. And with GitHub, how we can manage our projects. So I will go to my GitHub account. First, we can go to github.com. Okay, so this is my we can go to google.com and here you can type github.com okay so since i have already have an account from github so you can create an account okay so this is my account now on github we have to create a new repository with optional description okay so this is my github account as you can see so i will click on here and your repositories i will go now i will click on new repository since i have got one to so this is the list of repositories I have in GitHub. I will create on, create on new, click on new. Here I will give the repository name. So suppose I have a, GIF, a repository project name called Laravel Online Shop. So that name I can give. So this is my project you can see in D right? Okay, so I will give the same name as my repository name. Okay, so this is, I can copy the name here and I will paste it here. So this is the name and here the online also I can give the same in description optional field and we can create treat it as private repository. Okay, so I can click on create repository. So our repository is created successfully and now it is since it's a private repository so I can only edit it. Okay, now we can see that since uh, we have created a new repository and also we, if we wish to add a readme file you can add it okay so now we, i will click on green button here since i have to uh, copy that code and i would want it to push the file since my project is on local machine our project here laravel online shop okay so this project all project gets loaded here now what i have to do i have to push this project which is in my vs code through terminal also we can push it but i will use git command line uh, git bash or or also you can use the terminal of vs code when you uh, do the select when you click on terminal so that also you can use it okay so here also from here you can open the terminal so new terminal here also you can go and here also you can do it okay but since i am using the a git command line so that would be very helpful so i will initialize this repository okay see i will open the folder directory here and i will minimize this okay so i will do side by side window that will help us to navigate the projects and understand it in a better way okay so this is my laravel online shop now here i will create a git file so that i can my project can be uh, initiated here in my local machine so see i will do git in it initialized empty repository so this is the i will refresh it okay so if i will refresh this Okay, so here we can see that our uh, git file uh, are gets updated here. Okay, now what I will do here git init means the initialize we have initialized empty repository in our uh, folder git folder. Okay, so let's see here go to D drive again and when we go here. So we are initializing git uh, empty repository. Now what we will do we have not added a readme file so that is not required okay now if i want to commit anything i means i would want to uh, ensure that i have i have to manage this repository or i have to make changes to any of the file okay so that i have i can do here so now i will create a file here i will put git commit and I can write it as first commit okay so when i would do this so i want it's asking use nothing added to commit but untracked files present okay so they want to say that uh, we did not have made it made any changes to any of the file okay 
in our uh, fold uh, our folder structure okay so now what we have to do we just add this file to our github account so i will do this command git add and hyphen add i will add okay this is not the right command so we just do space okay so warning is there that's working copy of replaced by lf next time git touches it okay so they just want to say that this copy will get replaced if you want to change it okay now what we will do we will directly push it to our origin so what is our uh, origin here this is my uh, repository here for github okay i will copy this and i will do since i have to push it from my local machine so i will write this command git there is no branch so we will avoid this command git branch because we are not we have not created any branch now so i will directly add it and i will put it at origin this i can copy and just press enter okay so what it says now okay so they want to say that the just we have to uh, add the origin also here because we have forgot to add the origin so i will add origin here in my uh, git remote add origin we have to specify because without the origin source and destination because they want to ensure that our files are get pushed to github so from where they are pushing so from this origin we are pushing okay so see now it has been successfully pushed our files you can see here there is no error or no warning now i will push it directly to the main branch or you can do it directly to main branch okay so when i do git push hyphen u and origin master i can put because i have not created any branch so i will directly put it to the main branch okay fail to push some reference in the because that is not matching so we will directly push it to the main branch let's see okay fail to push reference this much okay so let's see what is our error here src is not matching with any file okay because main is not matching so let's refresh it once okay so after leaving it uh, in our repository we find that there is an error so we can use this command basically uh, to solve this error git push origin master okay so that will hopefully help us to solve the error okay it's not matching let's see what is getting wrong okay we'll try another method we will try to ensure it by other method so i will clear the screen try this method okay this remote origin it says already exists now what we have to do we can uh, add the files in here git hyphen add and space so we have to add all the files now we can directly push it to the main um, origin main okay so this command i can use directly okay fail to push then if we use master then what is the case okay we have to do commit also before first commit okay see now it is been committed now if you have to push the origin master then directly you can push it okay now it is enumerating and now we are able to do so we have to put the mess error message there means we have to put the commit message that's the reason it was not working okay now we can see that the git status also we can see now git status okay so see there is nothing to commit and it's working now so our branch is up to date now we'll see our repository so we'll see the all the files and folders listed here okay so this is our laravel project where we can see inside the folder also there are files okay in the http controllers okay if we have so all the files we have has been replicated to here we can also cross check with our vs code where uh, our admin folder is there you can see here this is our app okay and here in the app we have gone to http then we have gone to controllers 
okay in the controls we have admin and here admin login control so all the files are there so this is all about how we can push the port to github so thank you